back in, uh, I think it was season 12, we met an inspiring nine-year-old athlete who had already overcome some incredible odds. Take a look. The story is you were three years old and the doctors had to amputate your leg. So I was born with one finger on my left hand uh -huh. and a leg that was curved. They removed the part that was curved, they took the big toe and they put it on my left hand so now I have two fingers and a stump that they can put a prosthetic leg on. So and it has not slowed you down a bit, has it? No. I play basketball, we're starting basketball season, I play soccer, football, I was the QB, track and field, I set seven national records at the national <laughs> So when did you realize that you were good at everything? I've always loved it since I was a baby. When I play sports, I feel at home. I don't feel different. I feel like I'm just one of the guys. Yep, well, and you are. And you have a coach that gave you a really great motto. What is that motto? Finish well. Doing a race, maybe I slip and fall at the beginning. I get up and I go, okay, finish well, finish well. And you drive harder and harder and harder, and then eventually you get to the finish line. Good for that coach, and good for you for taking that in. If kids are watching, and they feel different if there's something about them, what's your message to them? Everyone's different. Whether you look different, you think different, or you act different. Mine happens to be I look different, and it's very obvious, but because everybody has challenges, and everybody stares at everybody, being different is okay, and that you can dream it, and you can hope it, or you can make it happen. And I hope that they make it happen. <laughs> Please welcome back 16-year-old Ezra Freck. Look, you're a man now. I was so I was so small in that video. I was just watching it. Oh my gosh! It's so good to be back. I know, and I, I know I don't remember too many things because so many things have happened in 19 seasons. But I do remember that. I remember you. Really. And and uh, and, and I remember remember you saying that you wanted to, your dream was to go to the Paralympics, and you made that happen. I did. I did. Thank you. Thank you. It's. I think. I think there's some sort of magic when you come on The Ellen Show and you say your dream, it comes true. Because yeah. at the time, I said I wanted to make it, and then fast forward you know, a few years and it actually came true. But at the time, what was interesting, it was sort of like this very distant dream. You know, Most kids say they want to be an astronaut, they want to go to the NBA. Yeah. That, was, that, my, that was a type of dream for me. And then a few years later, I watched the Rio 2016 Paralympics, and it hit me, like, oh, I could actually make this happen. And then we got a coach, we took it real serious, and five years after that point, it came That's through, a huge so. accomplishment. Thank That's you. a huge Thank accomplishment. You. Congratulations. And how high was that high jump? What did you uh, jump? I think that high jump was about 5'11", uh, five, 5.8 wow. meters. So yeah. you did the long jump and the high jump, right? Yes, yes. And what was your experience like there? Tokyo was amazing. Even though there, you know, there wasn't people in the stands, it was such an amazing experience. I, I placed eighth in the long jump, fifth in the high jump. I was about an inch away from the bronze medal. That jump that you saw was about an inch away from the bronze medal. Um, but it was such an amazing experience. I, I learned a lot from it. I was, I was pretty devastated to come so close, but that sort of used as motivation now. And as well, I think it was a year before I told myself, I said, if I do everything I possibly can, give up everything over this next year and leave no stone unturned, I can walk away off the track in Tokyo, regardless of the result being content with myself, so. And you were. I was, yeah. Uh... Good, good. But I assume, I assume you want to go back. 100%, Yeah. 100%. I'll say it right now, Paris 2024, I, hopefully all the magic's working. Paris 2024. Paris 2024. We're going for gold, going for gold, hopefully. Good. And you know what? And it just keeps saying that, going for gold, and you have to use that as motivation. And, you know, and that is the difference between, you know, succeeding in something is that you just don't look at something and say, well, that's what I did. You just say, this is, this is what I did this time, and next time it's going to be better. And, and, 100%. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, now you have an organization. You're doing amazing work. Tell everybody what you're doing. Yeah, it was uh, my, my organization, Angel City Sports. We started it in about 2015. You know, 15% of the U.S. population has a physical disability, like myself. That's like 50 million people. Whether it was congenital, they were born with it, or they acquired it. 
and they are told that they cannot do sports, that sports is not for them. And so we know the power of sport. I'm a first-hand example of, of how important it is and how transformational it could really be. And uh, we started this nonprofit for kids, veterans, adults with physical disabilities to be able to participate in sports year-round. So we give out legs, we you know, donate equipment, we have clinics pop up, competition. Um, can you think about it, someone in a wheelchair, they can't just roll up to the YMCA and play wheelchair basketball with a pickup, uh, pickup game going on of able-bodied people. So we recognized that and then you know, we made it happen and now we're one of the biggest adaptive sports organizations in the nation. It's been an amazing process. Good for you, good for you. It's been amazing. Well, You're, you're, an, you're, you were amazing then, you continue to be amazing, and you're an inspiration for anybody out there watching, like you said before when you were just a little boy. Like, it's just, we're all different. Sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't, but we just have to, to love one another and, 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 and love the differences, because that's what we're all supposed to be. We're all supposed to be love different. Love the differences. Yeah. It's beautiful. All right, go to our website to learn more about Angel City Sports. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>